What's up, guy and girl players of WoW? Taro here, and I'm bringing you just a short video showing you how to get exalted with Lore Masters very quickly. Um, I'm gonna put all the maps up on the screen. I'll also have uh, some chords and things like that on my website to help you find everything easier. If you use TomTom, Tom, I'll also put some waypoints in there if that will help you out. But anyways, um, the Lore Masters, if you've noticed, a lot of people are riding around on like discs. Looks kind of like a manhole, you know, if you want to say it that way or look at it that way. And basically, that's the Lore Masters rep, and you need to be exalted. And once you are exalted, come here to uh, Mogushan Palace, and you have your rep guy, your uh, quartermaster, just chilling right here. And that's how you can buy your disc. You know, it's inexpensive, 480 gold. You also get a tabard for 8 gold, and then some other miscellaneous items that help you out with archaeology. All right, so how you do this is actually kind of interesting. It's not based on, you know, actually doing um, quests or anything like that, or grinding rep, or, or killing, you know, mobs, nothing of the sort. What you're gonna do is, you know, just like lore is in, in the game, is you're kind of gonna discover different things about lore inside Pandaria. And they'll give you these achievements and each of these achievements is also going to give you rep with the lore masters. Now to find these different items, like I said, I'm, you know, I have maps displayed so you can see which zone has which ones. And the easiest way to do it since, you know, a lot of people probably are 90 and you're flying around, you definitely want to be flying to these locations of course. But on top of that is you might want to visit pretty much everyone on the map, even if you think you've gotten it before, unless you double check to make sure that you already have it. It's just quicker that way. Um, you might have picked up a few while you're questing, but still, you know, to try to look them up and figure out which ones you have and which ones you don't, it's going to be pretty time consuming. But anyways, once you get all those achievements, you're going to get some mail. And once you get your mail, it's going to have an item, you know, a unique item from each of these achievements, and it's going to be a quest. So basically, you just, you know, accept the quests. You can, you know, load them all up, just like I'm doing here. And then you'll turn them into Lore Walker Cho. Now, they are really cool. Um, you know, after after you uh, turn them in, you will, you know, he does go on this ramble where he talks and things like that. Uh, if I was a little bit quicker, you can get two turned in. Um, people have other workarounds, but, you know, it's not so bad. And plus, it's kind of neat to watch the stories unfold anyway for your first time, you know, and I don't really expect you to do this twice anyway with, uh, you know, account-wide achievements. But um, I guess it is possible that you would, you know, do that. We're not going to listen to this part. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you just an idea of what the uh, what the lore items look like, so you know what you're looking for when you're searching your map. So let's go out here. Okay. So since I've already done them, I won't be able to show you how they kind of point themselves out to you. So if you, but if you do look right here. You see how there's like a blue, you know, stream coming up from this object right here? Well, that's kind of similar to what you're going to have with the actual lore object. So this is this is one right here, the Emperor's Burden, part 8. And you'll click it, and it'll say Achievement Progress, and then you can click on it to know how, you know, how many you've completed and things like that. But like I said, you know, go by the maps. Start at some point on the map, and then just go from one to the next to the next. You'll notice very quickly you'll start getting achievements. And I think you get about 2200 rep for each one that you complete. And then again, when you turn it in, you're going to get 3135. And this will get you exalted. Alright, so let's go back and turn that stuff in. And I'm not going to show you, you know, any of the, um, any of the role playing that this guy's doing. Instead, we'll just get too exalted. Okay, so I'm turning in my last one right now. And there we go. Got the achievement for getting exalted with the lore walkers. And then we can uh, hop over here real quick. Grab our disc. 
drop down to 420 gold, and our tabard dropped down to seven. It's not bad. Let's kind of check out, let's see here. See what this baby looks like, right? I'm sure you've seen a million of them on your server, but nonetheless. All right, so here it is. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, it's definitely one of my favorite mounts in the game. Um, Cloud Serpent is pretty cool too, uh, but this uh, <laughs> this is awesome. And it's really easy to get. Um, you don't need a quest to get started, anything like that. All you have to do is start on the achievements and you know follow the the little maps that I have. Um, I've even put some, you know, a, a bit of a route in case you want to follow that. And uh, there will also be some extra information if you can't find a particular one. I'll put, you know, kind of where it is on my website next to the coordinates for it and which one it is. So hopefully that will help you out. Well that's it and I hope you like this guide to getting exalted with Lore Masters and getting your disc. If you haven't yet, please subscribe and visit my website at tarwildguides.com for more free wild guides and tons of other information helpful to you in your World of Warcraft adventures. Now go get exalted with lore walkers already. Lates.